So in regards to the surgeries that I've done on myself, like one of my regrets is getting my teeth done. I personally feel like I got it done too young. So I feel like I didn't um, research more. I like, I had an influencer that I watched and- um, I think we both went to the same video inspiration influencer mm -hmm. because there was one influencer I watched as well at the time. And I was thinking, I'm, mm, I'll, I'll come back with that. Go on, you yeah, just continue. Yeah, so I saw the video and I was like, oh my God, like I wanted to get my teeth mm -hmm. done. I have wanted straight teeth. Like, I don't know why braces at the time just seemed like, I don't know, I just never really had braces. And I was like, oh my gosh, this influencer's had her teeth done. Like maybe this is something I could get into. Yeah. And like, when I watched her video, I felt like, okay, she didn't really show the nits and grits of it. So like my experiences, when I, I obviously like saw in the link where she got her teeth done, I emailed them like, oh my God, like I wanna get my teeth done, get veneers, like, you know. Anyway, got there now. And then when I was sitting there and they looked at my teeth, like, um, I done mine in Turkey. And then it was like, oh, and I went with my boyfriend at the time. And then Oh, they, right, I didn't know that. Yeah, what? and I, even now I can't believe I went with my boyfriend because wow. I just can't imagine uh, being that comfortable with someone yeah, to just that's, experience yeah, that all of that. Yeah, that whole situation is very uncomfortable and it's, you look so different. Yeah. And teeth is so important to so many people. So imagine exactly. getting to the worst state of your teeth. Literally. Oh, that's, that's brave. Yeah, that. so no, he was really supportive, I'm not gonna lie. And then, so when I was sitting in a chair and stuff, I, like, when I researched veneers, it said it just goes over your teeth. And I thought, okay, cool, that's fine. Like, it will just straighten up my teeth, go over my teeth. And then when I got there and I was sitting on a chair, I was like, yeah, so we're going to have to, like, just shave your teeth down a bit and put the thing Caps over. On, yeah. And I thought, okay, like, shave it down a bit. But I didn't know the extent that it would be. Obviously, like, I still have teeth, but it's like, I have to have veneers now for the rest of my life. And my, it's not that I've, I haven't got any issues with my veneers or anything like that. Like, I've, like, make sure I do my maintenance and my upkeep because I just don't want to have any issues. But it's like, you have to change them every 10 years. And now I've kind of put myself in a position where I constantly have to maintain them. Yeah. And it's like, I have to constantly make sure I... I can afford that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. it's like, I don't know how long I'm going to be in the game for in terms of, like, being an influencer to get it for free. And secondly, I wouldn't even want to get it for free to promote it. I yeah, would same. rather just pay for it because I wouldn't want to influence your... anyone else yeah, to, to get veneers. Same. So I'll just pay for it now. And then it's, like, from £10,000. Because even when I went to my dentist, because I asked my current dentist, I was like, oh, okay, if I wanted to just get a, a new set, whatever... He was like, yeah, you're looking about £10,000, even probably more than that to do it yeah. in the UK. UK. And, and with just, how things are going, it's just going to be more expensive. Do you exactly. know what I mean? Exactly. And I was just like, wow, like, if I had known stuff like this beforehand, like, let's say I watched the video and she said to me, I'm not going to lie, they shaved down your teeth. Once they've shaved down your teeth, that's you done. Like, you have to have this for the rest of your life. Two, this is how expensive they are to do it. And three, like, you actually have to, like take care of them because it's like if your teeth mess up underneath your crowns you're gonna have to have like so many root canals and all of this and it's like i just don't want to have to take my veneers out to like have any issues so it's like whoa babe if i had it's known that, known that. i wouldn't have done it so i just want and also seeing how many people like straighten out their teeth with other measures that yeah. are not so Extreme, intense like yeah. you can still get what you want without having such a dramatic yeah because that's what it is though babe it's so dramatic it's so much internal damage to your natural teeth yeah i feel exactly the same like if i could go back in time i would have done braces any other option but i feel like what was kind of just shown at that time was veneer yeah and it I goes believe... to show though you yeah. can't actually follow a trend because that could be the trend for exactly. the time obviously like there's actually other routes and just because you see an influencer promoting that at the time, take your time and find yeah, out should, other yeah. measures. We, I feel like in, we've not all, we haven't, all the decisions we've made and shared hasn't always been the best. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, looking back, I, I had to archive mine as well. Like I just didn't want people to watch my video yeah. and just get influence to do it. Like obviously a lot of people compliment me for my teeth, but it's like, rah, like it's not really my teeth. My teeth are underneath, like filed down. <laughs> and it's just like, rah, the day I actually have to change it is going to be quite mad because I haven't oh. seen my teeth like that in... 
and babe, years now, the three, actual years. procedure is just so tedious. Yeah. Like the oh, amount of numbing my, you have to get in your mm-hmm. teeth, and like, it's so uncomfortable. You can't really eat. All you can do is drink. Like it's such an uncomfortable feeling. And even when you get your fresh teeth, that when the air is cold, there was this tingling feeling that I hated. Yeah. If I could go back in time, I same with you. I wouldn't have done it. I think I I've never I never liked my teeth because in my family, oh babe, all my family have good straight teeth. My yeah. mom, my dad, my sisters. I feel like I was the one that always had everything wrong. Like it's just mad. Yeah. And um and for me it was always like I had the kind of I remember how my teeth were before. It was like I had two at the front. And then the one at the bottom. There was one the bottom wasn't too bad, it's the front. Uh. Two came it was basically like Bugs Bunny, my teeth. So uh. two came out, one went slightly in, and then the third one to the left was twisted over. So it was something that braces could have fit. But yeah. then it's, then again it's like, oh, I don't wanna wear braces. That's what's going through my head. Mm. I had retainers before when I was in primary school, lost them. Such a shame. In my head though, babe, I can't lie. I always said to myself, like when I'm old and I have money, I'm gonna get my teeth done. When I'm old and have money, I'm gonna get my boobs done. Like it's always been a thing, but I didn't know I could have got something else.